Good morning, everybody, and welcome to DF Barnes Arena for the start of Super Sunday, the final four of the Abby and Alex Newhook division in action all day today. And we're kicking it off with the Caps and the CBR Renegades. The Caps have yet to drop a game in this tournament. They're 4-0 through their four round robin games, but the playoffs are a new season. And if there's any time the Renegades want to win or will win, it's today to go to the final for the first time since 2018. Well, the last time the St. John's Caps were crowned champions was 2019, and they had quite the roster that year, led by Sam Williams, Jackson Bolin, and Lucas Ford. That team was absolutely loaded with talent, and they beat the Northeast Eagles in the final. Well, Lachlan Colbert getting the crowd into it here. I think it got everybody woken up and ready to go for this game. Since the expansion to the four-team playoff, 
A fourth seed has never beaten the first seed in this tournament. But today is a day for an upset and CBR are ready. We are underway for the semi-final of the Abbey Newhook division playoff between the St. John's Caps and the CBR Renegades. Lewis backhands it in front. Comes up through the middle, Renegades looking to break it out. Trying to bring the puck ahead is Byrne. Byrne looking to take it in. Byrne's gonna get his stick in there. Here comes Lewis up the other way. Gets the puck taken away by Taggart. And now Taggart will play it ahead. Out to center ice. Hart gonna fire it back into Cheater. Sent ahead to Byrne and now Hart's gonna pick it up at center ice and throw it back in. Here's Barnes. Lewis to his right. Barnes gonna shoot, stop. Rebound comes out to Lewis. Lewis gonna try to put it on. Byrne backhands it out. And it's just gonna get out and give CBR some time to go get some fresh legs out on the ice. Well, CBR and the Caps met once already. The Caps won six to four, but apparently CBR made that game interesting by making a bit of a comeback towards the end of the game. So let's see if this game here is closer than that one. Taylor will throw it back down low. It's Buck who's gonna get it. Buck twisting away, he tried to find the man in front and it just went up through the middle. Comes out to Winter. He tried to take a swipe and it looks like we're gonna have our first whistle of the game almost two minutes in. Here's Buck, trying to get it through. It comes out to Winter, who tried to flick it back in. Now here's Murphy looking to get the shot off. White gets the block in front. Sent back down low to Eason. Eason trying to play it up to the middle to Buck. Murphy gonna try to swing it back in, and now it's Winter who's gonna play it ahead. George Winter, one of our finalists for the Grit Award, so congratulations to him, and he'll find out if he won today at 2.50. It's gonna be a tough decision to make. Here's Buck coming in, taking the shot, rebound there, and it is covered up with 7.44 left to go. Well, a great start from the CBR Renegades in this one, looking to make history and be the first fourth seed to take down a number one seed since the inception of the four team playoffs. It's never happened. So 2017 was the first year for that. Or sorry, 2018, first year for that. 2017 was the last year for the three-team playoff. There's Menincola lifting the stick of Pike. Now Fagan twisting and playing it ahead. Hader trying to get it. Now Cheater gonna grab it. Comes back down to Nash. Henry Nash. His mom, Miss McNeil, was my math teacher during the first semester. She was saying how Henry wanted to make the novice select team this year. And he ended up making it, and now here he is in the semifinal. Thrown back in, Walsh gonna try to get it. Pike moving in for the puck, backhanded back in. It's Menencola who's gonna grab it. Chipping it off the boards, here's Rose. Sneaking in, he's gonna chop it through. A nice turn from Pike, now Cheater. He's gonna grab it and send it back down. And a nice shot to just slow it down towards the end there to beat the icing. Weird bounce off the boards, Wilson trying to get it. Now Nash, he's gonna keep it in and throw it back in. Back out to Cheater. Sending it down low to Walsh. Here's Rose up to Burns. Cheater tried to keep it in, and now it's a foot race. Here goes Hayter, moving in on net, and a great play by Nash to get back and intercept the puck. Of 
comes out to the point to Fagan. Whips it back in. Hader takes the shot and takes a deflection off Cheater and goes just wide. Here's Lewis. Get in and out to center ice. Wall going to backhand it in. Hader look to get the shot off. Wall comes back out to center ice and here goes Burns. Burns racing in. What a pass. Here's Lewis just wide. The rebound and a big stop. And it's hauled in by Max Adai. Great saves from him. And this game is still tied. Almost five minutes in. Burns wins it over to Cheater. Comes down low and Renegades looking to get their wheels going now. Chipped ahead to Byrne. Byrne gonna try to knock it out. Now Burns from the corner puts it on and deflected back out to Pike. Pike backhands it in, Lewis going to the net. Murphy gonna come in for it. Now a shot in front, Lewis! He scores! The Caps are on the board first in the Abbey Newhook semifinal. William Lewis in front of the net, fits it into the back of the net, and it is a 1-0 lead for St. John's. Here's White coming in. White for a second for the Caps. White shoots just wide. Great job by Adai to put it down into the corner. Here's McCarthy. Now it's Murphy. Giving away, dump back in. McCarthy gonna try to take it ahead. And here he goes. McCarthy up through the middle. Throwing it in for Byrne. Now here's White. White coming in, brings it to the outside. Fakes the shot and he'll just fire that one up and over the net. Sent in Hart, gets it to Pike and Pike is gonna wire that one back in. McCarthy tips it out, Susie looking to bring it ahead. Susie trying to chip it out. Now sent back in, it's Murphy. He gets the puck down behind the net. Murphy. Plays it ahead to Byrne. Now Hart gonna fire it back down low. It's Murphy with it again. Murphy getting his wheels going. The defenseman making his way up ice and offsides call. And a collision there at the blue line. Murphy slow to get to his feet. So Murphy is gonna be okay. And with 3.17 left to go, it's a one nothing lead for the St. John's Caps. Taylor trying to chip it in. Eason gonna come in for it and makes its way back out. Now Murphy up ahead to Buck. Buck racing after it. It's O'Reilly Hillier who's gonna get it. O'Reilly Hillier turning away. Playing it ahead and Caps come up the other way. Chipped off the boards and it's a three on one for the St. John's Caps. Here comes Pike, he got two going to the net and he scores! The Caps have a two goal lead. And it's Peyton Pike. Who's gonna put that one into the back of the net? Caps with an excellent start to this first period. Go, 
Pass to head, it's picked up by Murphy and he'll swing it forward for Buck. Here's Eason to Murphy. Murphy gonna fire it down low. Pass to head to Walsh, Winter gonna come in and try to take a swipe. Walsh bringing it up the other way and here's Buck. Buck gonna go after O'Reilly Hillier. O'Reilly Hillier twisting away. He's gonna play it ahead to Murphy. And now given away at center ice. Here come the Caps up the other way. It's Pike looking for his second. Up through the middle, shoots and scores! Peyton Pike double dips. And it's three for the Caps with a minute 52 left to go in the first. Rose gonna win the faceoff. He's one of our finalists for the Grit Award as well. And once again, folks, oh, a rebound in front, they score! It's Lewis, and it's four now for the St. John's Caps in the first period. That is William Lewis's second of the game. And the Caps off to a dream start. Rose gonna take it ahead. As we were saying, we hope that all the nominees can come to the ceremony today, because we don't want the winner, whoever that should be for both divisions, to miss out on getting the trophy and their prize for winning. And we also have something for all the nominees, so if you're nominated, you will get something. So we hope that every nominee can make it. Here's Ross coming up. Ross moving in, and a great defensive play by the Caps. Here's Ross in Nash. Gonna try to backhand it. Menencola puts it on. Rebound comes out to Hader and it's given away. And Nash just gonna poke it ahead to Burns. Burns coming up through. Burns shoots and it goes just wide of the net. Here's Winter. Back down low. Rose is gonna grab it on the sidewall. Played ahead to Hart, now it's Hader. Trying to put the pressure on. Winter, gonna try to take it. The two uh, Grid Award nominees just went after each other then. Here's Rose, hauled down, comes to Menencola. Fired on, Hader, gonna try to grab it. Sent out, and it just gets flipped out to center ice. Here's Rose, looking to get it. Now White, busting up through the middle. White, nobody can catch him. He fires, and Adai gets the glove out and makes a fantastic save. Well, that's gonna do it for our first period of play. The final score after two is four for the Caps and zero for the Renegades. Well, I want to take this time to talk about the Jamie Hines Memorial Grid Award. This is the first year we are doing it, and it will recognize one player from each division. So out of the 170-plus players, only two can win it in the whole tournament. So this is a big, big award. This award recognizes a player that works hard, leaves it all on the ice, is a great teammate, a good sport, and their love for hockey is evident every shift. We've been watching all these players all week, and we've narrowed it down to 10. 
So even if you're nominated in this, out of 170 players, if you're one of the 10, I mean, that's just a great honor in itself. So I'll read out the nominees, starting with the Abbey Newhook Division. For the St. John's Caps, it's George Winner. Mountain Pearl Blades, Max O'Keefe. Paradise Warriors, Allison Clark. Northeast Eagles, Spencer Coles. CBR Renegades, Lincoln Ross. For the Alex Newhook Division, it's the Celtics, Jack Peterson. The Royals, Emma Han. CB's Mannix Clark. Breakers, Caleb Diamond. And Rovers, Nate Bartlett. So once again, if you know any of the nominees, please tell them we want them to be at the ceremony because we do have something for every single nominee just for being nominated. So we want all nominees, if they can, we understand, you know, if, uh, Cornerbrook has to go back or the CBs have to go back, we can arrange something uh, for them. But we really do hope that the nominees can make it to the event today because it is a beautiful ceremony. We have the family of Jamie coming to uh, present the award, the award alongside us. So it's gonna be a very meaningful celebration. Here we go, second period underway. Renegades were down four nothing to the Caps when they played them. They scored three straight to make it four three. The Caps added two more. So let's see if they can do that again here. We got a penalty 12 seconds in to this second period. It's a tripping call against the Renegades. Camden Taggart going to the box for two minutes. Well, Caps coach Wally Bray coached the under 13 AAA Eastern Hitman this year. We got a silver medal at the Provincials, as well as a third place finish at the Spud Tournament. She's looking for a novice select gold here this year. Last year, Caps fell short in the semifinal in a shootout. The last two years, they've fallen short in the semifinal to a shootout. So they're looking to break a curse here. They haven't been able to get past the semifinal. I haven't been able to get past the Northeast Eagles who have haunted them the last couple of years in this tournament, but this year, they're off to a great start. Here's Walsh. Out to Pike. Pike gonna wind up and fire, rebound! And Wilson couldn't get the jab in front of the net. Here's Hart. He'll send her back in. Now it's Taylor who's gonna go get it. Blake Taylor chips it out. Walsh gonna keep it in. Renegades still trying. They're not out of this game just yet. Shot on net, great save by Adai. Now comes back out front. And now to the point to O'Reilly. Hilliard claps it back in. Here's Taylor. Out to the point, five field. Gonna put a howitzer back in and the Renegades are gonna clear. Big clearance from them on the penalty kill. This is where they need to get their momentum to start going here after if they kill off this penalty. Here's Pike. Two goals in the game, looking for a third. Takes it back into his own end. It's Pike up the other way. Comes up through. Pike through everybody. He got Winter going to the net. Oh, what a move from Pike. Look at that. Some gorgeous moves, but it is Winter who's going to end that threat. Played out to Fifield, he couldn't get it, now it's Murphy who tried to take it ahead. Here's Eason off the giveaway. White just managed to get it into the corner. O'Reilly, Hillier plays it ahead and the Caps take it up the other way. Here's Winter going after Buck, it comes over to Murphy. And it's backhanded back into the zone, here's Winter. Chips it out. Here comes Basha. Basha gonna swing it back. White moving on in. Hauls back, fires, and it goes just wide of the net. There's Basha with it again. Tried to play it across. Sent back in. Renegade's trying to break it out, and a great play by Buck. 
to get it to center ice. And now here's Eason. Coming in, Murphy gonna get it. Sends it on and it goes just wide of the net. Flip back in, Fifield. Gonna get it to Basha. And it's sent all the way down. It's Winter who's gonna go after it. Wall backhands it up to Eason. Here's Murphy. Murphy with the puck. Comes in, takes a slapper just wide of the net. So the next game after this one is Celtics versus Breakers. At nine o'clock, Celtics fell short to the Breakers earlier in the tournament, 10 to two. The Breakers have scored at least 10 goals every game in this tournament, so it's gonna be a tough task for the Avalon Celtics, but it's nothing that they can't do. Played ahead by Murphy. Rose out there, hard after the puck. Burns moving in on Eddie, takes the shot and a big save. And net by Adai, 5.48 left to go. And the next Abbey Newhook division game is at 11 between the Northeast Eagles and the Mount Pearl Blades. So Max Adai gonna come out and it is Lucas Pretty coming in. Great game from Max Adai, a reason why this is 4-0. He's made some big stops for the Renegades, so a great game from him. Here's Rose flying in to the backhand, and a big save in net by Jensen King to keep that puck out. And looks like the, are the Caps doing their goaltending change here. That was Simon Russell, excuse me, with the big stop in net. CBR still pushing. Again, they're not out of this game just yet. Still plenty of time for them to make a comeback. We've talked about this all week on the Celtics games. I've been a Leafs fan 16 years. I've seen lots of blown leads. The game isn't over just yet. And I've seen them come back from plenty of deficits like last night against Detroit. They were down 4-1 after the first and they came all the way back, unfortunately fell short in overtime, and Matthews didn't get his 70th goal. Oh, what a shot from Lincoln Rose from the corner, and a big save in net. Here's Rose, right off the draw, gets it out to the point. And Winter is going the wrong way. And he just realized when he looked up at his goalie, that was a close call for the Renegades. He thought he was sent in on a breakaway. And luckily he looked up and saw his net minor and decided to go back the other way. Here's Pike, out to the point. Whipped on in, deflected, and a shot in front, a swing and a miss, but a great effort from the Caps, who have been really good in front of the net this game. Now it's Hart. Dumping it in, and here's Lincoln Rose. Rose coming in, he tried to go around Pike, but Pike makes the interception. Giving away to Rose. Rose is gonna get it. Now Menencola gonna take over. Coming in, Menencola fires. And a great save in net by Russell. And it looks like we are gonna have our goaltending change here. Jensen King gonna come in a shutout for Simon Russell. So great game from Simon and Jensen's gonna come in. Here's McCarthy, passed over to Winter, and it's fired out, Burn 
going to put it on. King will turn it aside. Here's Hart trying to flick it out. It comes to Murphy. Murphy pulls back, fires, rebound for Susie. And he couldn't get there in time. Now Susie down to White. It's chipped out to Murphy. Murphy going to dump it back down low. It's there. And they score. CBR are on the board with 3.31 left to go in the second period. And maybe that's the start of something. They've had a fantastic second period so far. Here's McCarthy backhanding it up. Byrne gonna go after it, sent ahead. Shipped over and it's McCarthy. He's gonna get it down low behind the net. Byrne gonna race after it. Trying to get it out to center. And now flicked ahead to Murphy. Murphy, beautiful pass, it's Byrne taking over. Susie going to the net. Only goal for the Renegades in this game so far. Barnes making his way in. Here's Murphy cutting it back. Murphy all the way around the wall to Byrne. Sent back in, Taggart. Played over, Renegades look to get it out. Here's Susie up to five field and now it's Burns. Burns gonna send it in. Chipped out by Taggart. Hillier gonna fire it back down low. And it's sent all the way down the ice and Murphy was almost sent on a breakaway. Icing waved off. And now a giveaway down low and King gonna play it safe and cover it up with 2.10 left to go. Murphy wins it right away to Eason. Giving away the caps, looking to clear, and away they go. Chip back in, it's Fagan. Dumps it down for Pike. Pike gonna backhand it. Fagan trying to get it, here's Murphy. Bringing down Wilson, shoveled back in, and it's Buck who's gonna race after it. Quick little pump fake, and the puck sent around the other way. Murphy, fans on the shot, still manages to keep it in. Here's Cheater. Down behind the net. Playing it up to Fagan. And now it's Eason firing it on. Rebounds there, and Buck took an extra poke. And it is covered up by King. to Taylor. Taylor will whip it back in and intercepted by Nash. Nash gonna play it up. Walsh gets the puck intercepted by Hayter. He's trying to throw it back in. Now it's Rose. Lincoln Rose from the corner off the side of the net. Now here's Menincola. Here's Nash. Playing it out to the point. Kept back in and sent ahead. Caps up the other way, it's Wilson with the puck coming in. Wilson, hauled down by Taylor. Here's Hayter going after Winter. Winter down low. Still with the puck thrown in in front. Now it's Pike out at the blue line. Drew Pike fires it in. Shot rebound for Winter. And a big save in net by Pretty. First shot he's faced in this one. So the CBR Renegades have done something right in the second period. Here's Rose. Brought down, gets up, and 
goes right back after it. Sent ahead, and here come the Renegades up the other way. Coming up through, and it's Pike who's gonna make the interception and take it back down low. Sent out to the point. CBR trying to keep it in. And then Cola gotta try to get the shot off, and that's gonna do it for our second period of play. The final score after two, four for the Caps, one for the Renegades. Game's not over just yet. There's 10 minutes left to go. Well, the Caps have had a bit of a third, third period dragon they need to slay. In their last three tournaments, including this one, they've been up by more than two goals going into the third period. Last year, up 3-1 against the Eagles. Year before, up 4-1 against the Eagles. Both times, Eagles made an incredible comeback, and both times they won in a shootout. So let's see if the Renegades can keep the curse going. Or can the Caps slay the Dragon and go to their first final since 2019? Here's Murphy. He's going to swing it down low. It's O'Reilly Hillier. Trying to backhand it ahead. Caps play it forward. It's Winter. Who's going to get it? Winter swings it across. It's McCarthy who's going to get it now. He has it down low behind his own net. McCarthy. Looks to get it to Murphy. Here's White with the shot just up over the net. Now Susie's going to get it. Out to center for Byrne. Here come the Renegades up the other way. It's Susie coming up through the middle. Splitting the defense. Couldn't quite get it into the zone. And now it's fired down low. O'Reilly Hillier going to pick it up. Hillier turns it over to Susie. And it's played in front. And now White is going to take it up the other way. Here's White leading the charge, pointing Wayne Gretzky's 99. White from the corner. He scores! 99, it's Henry White. Would have made Wayne Gretzky proud with that shot. It's 5-1 for the St. John's Caps. Wall gonna send it in, it's Cheater. Sending it ahead to what must be his brother, James Cheater. And now it's Barnes coming in, putting it on. Lewis looking for a hat trick here in the semifinal. Now Renegades looking to try to get the puck out. It's cycled back in by Lewis. Backhands it on and Sent ahead to Buck. Went back into the zone. Here's Burns on the backhand. Tried to put the puck on net. Sent back into Fagan. And now it's Wall. Gets it out to Nash. Here come the Renegades. Nice kick by Buck. And he's hauled down by Nash. Here's Cheater. Up to Wall. Now it's Buck. Looking to get it ahead to Eason. Eason with Murphy going in. Eason gonna fire it on. Rebound there for Murphy, and he tried to take a swipe at it. But Caps make a great defensive play. Here's Murphy coming in. Sent right down the middle and into Renegades territory. And it is covered up by Lucas Pretty with exactly 7.30 left to go in the third period. 
Well, it's been a warm weekend here in St. John's, a treat for the teams that came in from out of town, like Cornerbrook, the Seabees, and the Bay Arena Rovers. Actually, some good weather here in town for a change. It's like a summer day the last couple of days. That's why it's so foggy here at DF Burns. So now the fog has moved indoors, but I guess we'll take it if that means it's gonna be warmer outside, we'll take some indoor fog. Here comes Rose. Beautiful moves, not giving up on the puck. Going after Wilson. Rose trying to take it back, even without his stick, he's trying to get it. That's why he's nominated for the Grid Award right there. Now Menencola. Oh, it's in front. Menencola gonna clear it away. Now it's chipped up Murphy. Gonna try to get it. Picked up, by, a stick picked up by the linesman. Johnny O'Brien, it's all fun and games until he intercepts the puck and go down and then roofs one up into the top corner as the linesman. And we have an offsides call by his fellow linesman, Nick Winters, but 6.38 left to go. Here's Winter. Winter coming in, takes the shot, big stop, and it is covered up by Pretty with 6.29 left to go. Winter. Wins the draw, but Byrne will take over the puck. Fired back in, Winter gonna try to get it. McCarthy plays it ahead to Byrne. O'Reilly, Hillier to Basha. Basha throws it over to Winter. And here's Murphy, who's gonna grab it. Murphy, that puck chipped out to center ice, and it's Fifield who's gonna get it. Renegades looking to get it out to center. Susie trying to get it. Here's Winter with it now. Susie gets the puck through. Here's White. White trying to take the shot. Puck intercepted by McCarthy. Here's White with it again. Beautiful pass in front of the net. Great vision from White. And again, no wonder he's wearing number 99. Wayne Gretzky, all-time leader in assists in the NHL as well as goals. And White almost showed off that Wayne Gretzky vision there. Here's Murphy. Takes it back. McCarthy trying to reach out for it. It comes back into his own territory. And he gets the puck. Chipped ahead. Barnes is going to get it and get it out to center ice. And now Hard on the puck is Cheater. Byrne, walking in with the puck, has it down low. Looking to cut back, popped out to Cheater. Cheater with a nice saucer pass ahead. I gotta say, this Caps team moves the puck really, really well. Look at that! Burns tried to get the shot off and intercepted by Taggart. Now turned over, Lewis for the hat trick. Can he do it? No, he passed it. Oh, what a save by Pretty. A big stick stop. And I think I hear sirens because we have a robbery at DF Burns Arena. Here's Buck coming in. Playing the puck in front of the net. Renegade still pushing. <laughs> Pass ahead, Caps moving the puck forward. Here's Lewis, hungry for that hat trick. Comes back down low to Burns. Burns flips it in for Lewis. Goes up through the middle, now it's Pike. Pike coming in from the corner, now he goes down low. Cuts back, he's also another player looking for a hat trick. Pike 
trying to wind his way in on net. Murphy going to come in and try to intercept it. Here's Walsh. Gave it away at center ice. Fired back in, and it's Hart who's going to get it. Now flip the head here. Come the caps up the other way. Wilson going after it. We're in 97 of Connor McDavid. Now it's Pike who's going to try to get it. Now it's Buck who's going to get the puck and take it past the blue line. Now he's going to get it to the red line. Buck going to dump it into Hart. And now sent ahead. Here's Pike with it again. Can he get the hat trick? Peyton Pike. Beautiful move. Look at that. Shot goes just wide. Still trying to get the puck now. Pike going to flip it back out to his fellow Pike, Drew Pike. And he tries to keep it in now. Here come the Renegades. Pass up the middle. Here comes Rose. Lincoln Rose. And he's brought down. Now Renegades trying to get it. Here's Pike. Playing it ahead. It comes up to Walsh. Walsh coming in. Now he got Winter going to the net with him. Beautiful saucer pass. Winter's going to get in backhanded. And another big stop by Pretty. Now White. Fans on the shot. Trying to get it. Renegades taking it up the other way. Here's Hayter. Lost the puck. Haven't had a whistle in a long time in this game. Pike coming in. Winter there as well. Pike. Backhands it across to Winter, and he couldn't get there. And a nice shot from the corner by Pike, and now walking in is Drew Pike with the clap bomb just wide of the net. Sent up to Pike. There's Pike, whipping it in, now it's Basha. Rose gets it free, and Renegades just trying anything they can to break it out. Leading the charge up the other side. It's Murphy taking over. Can he get one more for CBR? And what a desperation dive by Cheater to keep that thread out of the cap zone. Well, it looks like this third period curse isn't going to bite the caps today. Comes up the middle. It's Cheater looking to take it ahead. Sent in, it's Lewis, who's going to try to get it. Cuts back, he's a player looking for a hat trick. Here's Cheater with a shot, and Pretty makes the save. Here's Burns, backhanding it in. Now it's Murphy. Has it down low. Turn over to Burns. Puts it up over the net. Great effort from him. Morris sent back in, deflected just wide of the net. And the St. John's Caps have broken the curse for the first time since COVID. They are going to the final of the Novice Select Tournament with a big 5-1 win over the CBR Renegades. Great game from the Renegades. I mean, a lot of people were thinking the Caps are going to walk over the Renegades in this game, but the Renegades fought till the very end. They had a lot of great chances against the Caps. So Renegades, great tournament. Hold your heads high. Nothing to be ashamed of come back stronger next year and best of luck to the players going up to Adam now we'll get our player of the game ceremonies and our bronze medal presentation for the CBR Renegades
Well, great game from Lucas Pretty. He made some big stops for the Renegades. William Lewis, player of the game for the St. John's Caps. Two goals in this game from him. And a fantastic effort as the Caps go to the final big part in their victory today. All right. I love those medals. Those are such nice medals. Very cool design on those. Well, a great tournament from the CBR Renegades. Fantastic job from them. They made it interesting for the Caps today. Championship game is at 3 o'clock for the Abbey New Hook Division. Oh, it's 2 o'clock for the Abbey New Hook Division, excuse me, and 3 for the Alex New Hook Division. So the St. John's Caps will find out who they play at 11 when the Eagles and the Blades play each other. Folks, we're covering every game today. Celtics and Breakers up next. We'll see you then. Be sure to be kind to one another, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.